Hey, horsey people and gun people. I'm going to put this on both channels because it's dealing with cops and horses. <laughs> so I can tie both my damn channels together. All right. Man. First of all, the incompetence of the cops is just amazing. Now, this isn't just cops. This is most people and horses that get out here and do shit that they shouldn't be doing. But they want to look cool and they have fancy uniforms and they have fancy boots and fancy spurs and fancy bits so when i first watched this video the first thing i watched was this horse's head i mean just the pain look at the lips when the lips peel back like this is because it's in pain this woman yeah she's a woman police officer and she falls off her horse and makes her horse fall but hang on so she has not two pain bits to put metal in the horse's mouth and hurt it not one bit she has two bits i mean this is a bit and this is a bit they are separate. And I just, I'm just like, good Lord, if you need that much pain and that the horse's head's flying, his ears are pent, he's in pain and her reins are tight and she's pulling and she has no clue what she's doing, but she's got spurs on as she's digging into the horse's sides, poking him with metal spurs. And she's got all this crap on his neck, on his face and mouth. Outrageous. <laughs> So I'm going to stop the guy talking because I don't know what he's saying and I'm going to be talking. So uh, let's take a look at this horse's head. Good Lord. How does that, does she even have a saddle? Oh, there it is. I almost didn't see the saddle. Okay, here we go. Watch the horse's mouth. Head. Ouch. 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 Ouch, backing up. I need to get released. The horse is dancing and backing up because she's pulling on the reins. But she's not paying attention. She's looking the other way. She's got her head going the other way. She has no idea what her horse is doing. So the horse is like, ow, stop pulling. It hurts. When you get leverage, when you see long shanks, even though they make pretty S's to make it look pretty, it's actually just long. It's concealing the length and the leverage. Every inch that this adds, it compounds like five times the amount of pressure. So the amount of pressure she's putting on this horse's mouth is outrageous. And the horse's mouth is open. He's in pain. His head is up. His ears are back. He's saying, out. She's throwing his head saying, stop, stop. She's not paying attention. He starts walking backwards, and then he ends up falling down. The camera moves away, so I can't see everything. But watch his head. Ow. Ow, ow. Stop pulling. Stop pulling. My feet are hurt. Ow, 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 ow. So she's pulling, 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 kicking him with the spurs. You see that? Watch the spurs. Kicking him, kicking him. I got to kick him with the spurs. Now I'm going to run him into the rail so when he falls, I'll be like, damn, my horse is stupid. Damn, that horse don't even know how to ride. That horse don't even, I need to, I need, some trainer will be like, I need to teach your horse how to walk, man. He doesn't know how to walk. It wasn't your fault, darling. No, no, sweetheart. You did everything right. Don't beat yourself up. You had a helmet on and you did everything right. This is the horse's problem. Horse doesn't know how to walk. Are you freaking kidding me? Notice the spurs. Because pain in the mouth isn't enough. Notice the spurs. I gotta be kicking a horse. Horse falls on the ankle. Oh, poor thing. Wow, she's really tough. Wow, man, she stood up after a horse fell on her. She's tough. See, nobody wants to look at the poor horse in this situation. You get him out here. You don't know what you're doing. You need all this metal in this horse's mouth to control this horse. Then you shouldn't be out here. But, Rick, she's a sergeant. Yeah, I know. She's a sergeant. I wonder how she got those stripes. So, of course, she lets the horse go. Luckily, I mean, she was going to pull it down. This lady's like, oh, she must have meant to do that. She made the horse lay down. She's clapping. Good job. Okay, great. So, this rider comes over, grabs the horse by the bit, by the reins to create more pain. The horse wasn't going anywhere. The horse wanted to stay by this horse. The horse felt safer now than it has the whole damn time. This is the safest the horse has felt. He's like, damn, let me get over here by my horse. I'll feel safe. I don't have somebody kicking me with spurs. I don't have somebody pulling and ripping my face off. Let me get by the horse. What's this woman do? Oh, I better grab the reins and save the horse. I got to save the stupid horse that don't know how to walk because it fell. 
Are you freaking kidding me? Good grief. She'll be limping around getting workers' comp paid by the taxpayers for the rest of her life. Has nothing to do with her balance, her physical fitness, her ability to ride. No, 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 no. This is the stupid horse fault for not knowing how to walk with freaking probably shoes on on concrete. Yeah, that's the problem. Wait, she can't even control the horse. Look, this this woman is pulling on the reins over here on a horse. This woman's pulling. The horse is like, damn, I just got this woman off my back. Now the whole parade's tied up because this woman has to limp off. Oh, my foot. Wow, I was in such good shape. I can't go to the gym now because my ankles hurt. Okay, so now let's notice the, the what I say, the number one clue that people don't know how to work a horse, don't understand a horse, is they grab the horse by the head. Where does Miss Sergeant Police Female Officer Rider Extraordinaire in charge of the whole horse patrol, where does she grab the horse? Right at the metal pain bit so I can use pain to yank and rip the horse's mouth and control it. Two bits. One bit here and one bit here. One bit's not enough. One pain metal torture device in a horse's mouth isn't enough. I need two because I'm a sergeant. Good freaking grief. Are you kidding me? Look at this horse. Here's another woman. Tight reins. Look at... Who thinks this horse is like, oh, that horse is having a good time? Tail active, head high, lip quivering from the pain, mouth open, head straight up. Wow, Rick, look at her. She can ride a horse. She's empowered. That's great, man. They got woman police officers riding horses. Man, we are so politically correct. Look at this poor horse's face. How can anybody not see the pain and discomfort and torture in this horse's face? I just don't get it. There goes Hop Along Sergeant. Good grief. All right. Look, uh, I, I, I don't know how else to put it, people. Bits or pain torture devices. They are not nice. They're not kind. They're not needed. They're not all this crap that people that don't know how to ride will tell you. This woman will be telling people for years, I had this wild horse. I could barely control him. He was so wild, I needed two bits to control him. But I wasn't scared. I got on him because I showed him who's boss. I know what I'm doing. I put two bits on that horse and I showed it who's boss. That'll be the story that's told for decades. Granddaughters will be telling stories about their grandma who tamed the wild horse with two bits. And it will be carried on for generations. Oh, God, this irritates me so much. All right, we'll end that turn.